What up, what up? It's your boy Mo Hustle, and we are back on the hot seat, and today I got a special guest. Introduce yourself one time, big bro. What's up, fam? How you doing? Introduce Yo. yourself, man. So, my name is Mark Hamzat, and um, I'm an enigma. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. So, super duper. You're, you're a what? Enigma. What is that? I mean, it means a mysterious kind of individual, basically. Damn, I like that. Oh, you do? Let me say enigma. E Enig boss, you trying to mock me? Bar? It's you trying to mock me? That's okay. No, 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 I'm not trying to mock you. I'm, Enigma. I'm that's what I just said. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Enigma. Enigma. All right. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're saying I'm trying to mock you because you got that British accent? I mean, yeah, fair enough. It actually okay, sounds just, like something else, right, but so I'm not gonna say it. So you know, we won't go there. But <laughs> sounds like okay. That part. Anyway. Yep. Moving on. All right. So, with that being said. Let them know where you're from, because you got the accent. All right, so they gotta... so let, let's get this out of the way. Oh. I was conceived in Nigeria. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Mom hopped on a plane. Dad was like, all right, cool, where are you going? Boom, boom. I was born in Chicago. I lived there for one year. Right. Then they were like, ah, it's too cold out here. We went to Boston. I was there for about a year. Mom was like, nah, we got on that. Back to Nigeria for two years. That there's some stories there. Mm. Hopped on a plane, England, smash bang, captain of the basketball team, University of Manchester. Dad was like, Yeah, you got to go back to the US, smash bang, and here I am. Boom, boom. Well, damn, that was a quick sum up. I mean, yeah, you know, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. So, I mean, you just told me like a whole damn life story in like one minute or I'm, less. I mean, but, uh, let's like expand on that a little bit. Sometimes we'll be talking and I'll be telling him about uh, some of the H-Town uh, legends that we have in rap. And he has no clue about some of them. He's like, what? What is that? What? Yes, yes. So he's like foreign to a lot of stuff. And so... We want to dig dig deep in your roots, right? Like so, so like, where did you grow up again? Okay, so let's just say South London, Woolworth South Road. London. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. South London, where? Woolworth Road. Woolworth, Woolworth Road. Road. Okay, so that's the street. Basically, yeah. Okay. So like, it would be like mm, I don't know, like Westheimer if you're in Houston or. Right. Okay. I don't know, et cetera, et cetera. So, so yeah. it's like a nice area, like a gallery? Nah, I mean, it's just like a normal, oh. lower middle class, nothing sexy, you know, just right. normal. Okay. Normal. I got you, I got you. So so how was it? So from what age to what age did you stay there? Um, Let's see. That would be formative years. So like, like at nine through... 17 or so. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So actually, like it was before, it was before, it was before nine, actually, you know. Middle school and high school. Precisely. Cool. Okay. Dope. Yeah. So, so how is it out there, man? How, how is it? I mean, out there? it's a lovely experience. I enjoyed it whilst I was there. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I'm doing different things now. And, uh, but yes, it's a, uh, it's nice. It's a nice experience. Right. Yeah, it was a nice experience. I enjoyed it. So, like, growing up, were you, like, how was it for you? Did, did, did you have both of your parents in your life? Yes, yes. So, my okay. dad is still over there, um, separated now, but, you know, uh, cordial, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, it was amusing. I was uh, different, you know. Mm -hmm. First of all, I was, you know, African in England. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, African bubble was, you know, the nickname, et cetera, et cetera, you know. They called uh, you African Bobo? Boo Boo, like Boo Boo, boo black African, African Boo Boo. Black, that sounds like an Indian name. You know yeah. how to give you three names? <laughs> yeah, you know, the young Fly Falcon, some shit like that. But I, mean, they I don't you. know, it, it, it wasn't black Fly. African Boo Boo? Yeah, something like that, it wasn't Fly right, at the time. That's, anyway. And that's some interesting shit right there, see? But, but you know, hey, it that's is. Good, that's good, that's it, good stuff, that's good stuff. It, it, it is what it I is. I got you, I got you. I mean, I got a cousin named Boo Boo myself. Oh, you do? Yeah, his name was, he's from Chicago. Okay, yeah. what's up, Boo Boo? <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, Boo Boo. Hey, yo, Boo Boo. <laughs> that's who he's there. 
You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, cool. But yeah, cool, that's cool. cool. That's cool, man. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. All right. So, so, so uh, was it rough for you or what? I mean, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, um, slightly athletic. You know, I'm not that guy, but, you know, it's pretty hard to put me down. So um, it, it's, it's real out there. Like, you will, like, get shaken down. Like, people will you know, shake you down just to shake you down. And they'll shake you down to, you know, remove your, you know, personal items from you. So, um, of course, like, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not that guy. I'm not like, you know, hey, the hardest guy on the block, but I'm definitely not, you know, a pushover. So like, if you step to me, like, you're gonna figure it, you're gonna figure out real quick that I'm not the one. Again, but then again, I'm also not so the they're one. They're, they're, they're always testing you, basically. Yeah, they'll test you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But again, like I said, I wasn't the guy kind of like... You know, a lot of people went through that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's normal, right? normal stuff, basically. But, but I couldn't see them picking on you like that because you're a tall guy, man. You. Yeah, but I was like a loner. Like, you know, like, uh, I was smart, you know, blah, blah, blah. Weirdo, like, read, I read books. Imagine that, you know what I'm saying? So it was just kind of like, oh, okay, well, he's not really like us. He reads books. Blah blah blah. So it was like Lona, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Did it grow up there? Um, and so it was just kind of like figuring my own way through that. And so, yeah, there would be like five versus one, mm -hmm. you know. So, boom, boom, boom. That's you know, that happens, that's for sure. And so, out there, so what it was more like white people than black people. No, nah, it's really a mix, it's a mixed bag. So, right. um, it's very international, obviously. You know, the UK, uh, seafaring nation. Um, there's the Commonwealth that you have to deal with as well. And the Commonwealth is, it's like the United States, et cetera, et cetera. So right. anyone who was part of the Commonwealth could come to England. So you've got, and then of course, the West Indian culture there. So there's many, well, in London at least anyway, there's many, many cultures. Mm. That's dope, man. I'd like to go check it out. Is there like some badass places that, you would recommend to go see out there? I mean, basically, yeah, just go. Like, stuff you've seen on television, stuff you've read about. Like, it's a, you know, there's deep history there. There's mm -hmm. interesting um, tech. There's interesting, it's, the music scene is obviously right. off the chain, you know. So whatever you feel like doing, I, I don't like to color people's experience because it's like my experience and your experience are going to be different. So right, right, right. whatever you feel like, if you want to go see the Tower of London, go to the Tower of London. It's lit. You know, Tower of London, you said? Yes, sir. No oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go see Stormzy at OT, go oh, see. What is, what is the, the Tower of London? So, um, it's one of the castles, essentially. Like, you know, various things have happened there. They've had prisoners there. They store oh. crown jewels there. Oh, damn. Yeah. Prisoners ain't crown jewels, bro. I mean, you know, like, you don't well, get it's to the be... castle, so, you know, he got probably has Yeah, you don't get to be king about being nice to everybody, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. Like, People just... live in a castle and they're in prison there, too. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, English history though. is very, um, oh. it, it's, uh, it's, bar it's barbaric. It's bar yeah, study, it's barbaric, like, you know what I'm saying? They talk nice, but people's heads get cut off quickly, like, oh. you know, so, nice at the round table. I got you. That's dope. That's dope. Okay, so so what is what do people usually eat over there? Like, what what kind of food do you eat on a daily basis? Uh, on a daily basis, like when I'm in England, I eat my mom or dad's food. Like, like what, what do they cook? Uh, uh, so I'm Nigerian, so it could be like um, it could be ground rice, or it could be typically it was like ground rice or amala or eba, which is like a a typically it's up in a powdered form, and then you put water in it. It's comes out the consistency of like a thick mashed potato and then there's various types of stews like a fufu yeah it's basically a fufu yeah like there's different types but mm -hmm. we didn't really eat fufu in our house we had more like ground rice and um amala which is like a dark is ground rice ground rice correct so they ground up the rice into a flour yeah so flour and then it's like a fufu so we didn't really eat we actually didn't really eat fufu much at our house Way more ground rice and amala at our, at our house, you know, and then jollof you're gonna, rice. You're gonna, you're gonna have to introduce me, man. I'm trying to Pardon? learn some new stuff, you know. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm yeah. trying to try some new food. I mean, yeah, um, amala is like, mm, you know, it's like, it's it's like molasses is real. It's like a, 
you know, it's a it's a delicacy. Like not everyone can handle molasses. Like if you order amala at a Nigerian restaurant, the person's gonna look at you like, mm -mm, like you're like, mm, okay, like okay, it's different. Yeah, it's like you know, yeah, yeah, basically. That's crazy that they would serve Nigerian food over there, though, right? Uh, no, so no, no, and that's at home. Farm? That's just at home, yeah. I don't, I don't eat out when I go, like, you know, there's, right. yeah, it's going to be like, you know, we're Nigerian, we overcook food. Like, my, you know, there's going to be a big pot of stew, there'll be some rice, you know, whatever is there, and you just go in, like, canteen style, like, it's just, you know, mum's in the house or not, the food is going to be yeah, hot really and prepared, oh, or, you know, throw in the microwave or the oven, but, like, home-cooked food is, like, that's, like, a normal... For me, anyway, it's like a normal standard thing, basically. Yeah. So I didn't really eat out much. So for other people, go do you. For me, when I'm at home, I'm eating mom's food. So that's, or dad's, basically. That's good, man. That's what's up. Okay, so then at a certain age, you just moved, and then you said you went to Chicago, right? Or is there somewhere else? So, um, yeah, Chicago, Boston. So it was like, you know, I was in the U.S. for like two years, basically. Boston, Boston. Boston, Boston, Boston. Boston, Boston. Um, so how was it living in Boston? I don't know. I was like two. Oh, you were only two? Huh? Yeah, I don't remember that. So so when you were two. older, you were in Chicago then? Nah, so you... Uh, I got it all mixed up. It's okay. I went real, you know... Yeah, you just... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So let, let's backtrack. So, so, so when you were smaller, you was in Chicago and in Boston. Then... And then when you got older, then that's when you went out there. And then from there, where did you go? You came back here to Houston? So, yeah. So uh, I have a degree in physics. Um, which is the study of energy. Okay. And so um, for someone who studies energy, um, being in Houston is like, you know, an investment banker being in London, New York, or Hong Kong. Right. Yeah, for me. So I came here for career prospects, essentially. Dope. And how long did you go to school for that? Uh, I graduated when I was 19 years old with my degree in physics, with technological physics. It was nice. It's nice. And you graduated here in, in Houston? Nah, University of Manchester, England. England. Uh, I believe it's the number one school in England right now. When I was there, it was like top 10. No. Well, that's incredible history, man. That's remarkable, man, to get a degree and, and to go hard, especially to come across the country and, you know, and, and come out here and work like that. And get down in, 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 you know, some whole other level type shit. You know what I mean? I mean, it's the American dream. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Like, Hell yeah. entrepreneurism. That's how America was created. <clears throat> right. That's dope. So what do, you, what do you think about aliens, man? Do you think they exist? I am alien. Sitting up as an alien. See? <laughs> oh, there's some stuff we don't know. What's going I mean, on? I mean, he's just... Okay. That, that laugh was, like, deep as well, oh. like... It's like, is he actually an alien? Like, I've actually been called an alien on several occasions, and so um, I believe my race planted me here to, you know, um, be a humble servant to the the human species, essentially. Yeah, man, I, you know, I've been watching you for some months now, and I see that all kinds of people are attracted to you. You just come to the party. You know, you, get, you might get a little bit of small negative thing, but for the most part, you get a lot of, a lot of love, you know what I mean? All kinds of people, and uh, it's just crazy to see you out there doing things like that and, and just attracting people like that with your energy, you know what I mean? Well, so uh, in our culture, um, uh, there's uh, a, we have a naming ceremony. You're named seven days after you're born, right. and you're named according to the behaviors you, dis you display. So uh, my Nigerian Yoruba name is Olaide. Um, and I don't use that here because, you know, the shortened version of it is Ola, and in Texas, Ola means hello, mm -hmm. and I'm not trying to have a conversation with someone. At, well, you know, in Spanish, it means yeah, like hello, Ola, Ola, yeah. So everyone thinks I'm so, saying. So Ola is, is, is it, or Olan? It's Ola ide, Ola. It's the same word, okay. no H. It's so okay. basically the same word. It's like, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. okay, I got you. So Ola ide translates to joy, and wealth. Joy and wealth. Yeah, so it was like, oh, this kid's a happy, you know, wealthy kid or whatever. He's going to be called Olaide, basically, so. He said he catching you on the table. On the oh, table. excuse we're me, good, sir. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so. Right. But yeah, yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, so, so like, 
you know, the na like naming a child in our culture is very like, it's taken very, very seriously. Like you are your name basically. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's dope, man. So, so, so what is your sign? My sign is I am a Libra. A Libra. Okay. Yeah. The only sign of the Zodiac that is not an animal. It's crazy. It is crazy. But but I'll be seeing you, boy. You be jumping off the damn stage like an animal. And I mean, you know, you know. I'm just joking. I'm just no, joking. My, it's my inner child. Like no, you're actually cool. Yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. Yeah. For real. But it's crazy to see you out there doing like just the way you interact, man. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, man, you need to get with this guy and go let him take you out for a while. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll take you for a wild night for sure. Yeah, you know. Um, some of the gentlemen that I hang out with at the Petroleum Club, I'm usually there for yeah. four more times a, a month. They, you know, they're like, oh, so how's it going? You uh, Are you staying out of trouble? And I'm like, hmm. what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> because obviously they know that other outside of my professional um, setting, I like to have, like the young gentleman said. I mean, but you're not negative. You, you actually go yeah, have a yeah, good, good time. time. Like, yeah, good time. Yeah, I mean. You're going out to party. I think the only time it becomes negative is that other people aren't having as good as a time, a time as you are. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, then they, you know, because they're, they're, they're pretty much like stiffs. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm Nigerian. Like, you kind of, yeah. you have to kind of cut. You just, like, fun and partying and music is, right. it's all, it's in our culture. Like, you know, we what just. Is, what is your favorite kind of music? Uh, we're gonna have to say Afrobeat on piano is really. What, what is what is that one dude that had the Gucci suit, the one you were showing? Oh, me a Shake. Yeah, Boy, I'm, that I'm, boy, I was on I, that yeah, I'm like a shake is like back to back to back to back. Like I could never get how tired. How do you spell that for those that don't know? A S A K E, A S A K E. -E. -E. I. And what is the name of that song? You know. Uh, well, the one I'm playing right now, back to back, is Ototo. Ototo. That's not the one where he's gonna fly. As oh well. no, um, that's the money one. Y'all was. Pfft. Bro, that one. I was mean, that was right ridiculous. That. Do you remember the name yeah. of that one? Um, I cannot. I'm gonna have to go look him up now that I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. find it, but yeah, you know. yeah. Um, it's a Shake featuring. I think it's it's either Thames or Remo, one of those two. My bad, boss. But yeah, yeah, man. Uh, when you introduced me to that, I was like, well, I mean, like the Afrobeats wave has been real big lately, for a couple years now, and uh, even my boy, shout out Sebastian, uh, he deals with. Um, what is his name? The one that uh, Toby uh, Nwegwe? No, 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 no. The Afrobeats one. The, uh, um, uh, he's big, man. He's one of the biggest Afrobeats dudes right now on tour. I, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm tell horrible. Me, man, tell, name me the top three right now that are. Uh, maybe Thames, maybe Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Okay. And so good, my good, boy, good. Okay, uh, cool. Sebastian deals with, with uh, Burner Boy. Oh it's no, crazy. yeah. Sebastian, that's that guy's a that guy's an animal. He yeah. is. He's dope. Humble genius. He's working right now for those that are, uh, are tuned in that are waiting on something. He's been working on something. I think he got the whole album almost complete. And then that's when we're going to put that full plan out and move it forward. But yeah, Burner Boy, when he comes into town, he gives him a call and says, hey, come over here backstage with me. You know, come come enjoy this stuff. And it's crazy, right? You know, It's Sebastian. not crazy. Like, Sebastian, Sebastian's dope. Like Sebastian that. is that guy. Like, that guy, you know, yeah. he's that, like, it's, it's, it makes sense. Like, right. yeah, it makes sense. But uh, yeah, man, Afro beats. And then this guy right here took me to the, you know, the clubs, jamming all the Afro beats music. And man, that, all the night, they're, they're all Nigerian mostly, right? I mean, yeah, it, it's a, it's, you know, there's a, it's put, a mixture. It's, it's a mixture. mixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, he brought them all to me. They were all respectful, all cool dudes, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, 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 it was a good time. The ladies was going crazy, you they know were, what I mean? I mean, yeah. So, so it was dope. Yeah, yeah. It was a good time. I mean, it's a respectful culture. We I like to, have to go fun. back. That right, it was like a movie. You it, know was, it was, it was, like it was, it was. Yeah, it was definitely. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We we definitely like the theatrics. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So um, so so so, what are your goals? My goals. Your goals, yeah. Your so, ultimate goals. My ultimate. Goal is to create um, a universal. So, uh, you know, like in Europe, a lot of the um, European uh, countries are getting away from. So, I, I love science, innovation, and business. 
And so, for example, you know, Ford created the five day work week, but it was a result of the industrial revolution. Right. We're now at the, you know, at the brink of the fifth or fourth industrial revolution, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And so one of my goals is to just you know, help facilitate that transition. If you study like the time around the 1920s, it's a similar time like when the 2020s is a very similar time. They had the, you know, whatever Spanish flu, we had the, you know, whatever that thing happened a couple of years ago, we won't name, <laughs> we'll call it the nameless thing. Um, you know, and there was a lot of innovation going on, Marie Curie, um, et cetera, et cetera. And the, th the same thing is going on right now. And so one of my goals is to just, you know, facilitate and help and be a humble servant and uh, aid those individuals, those, you know, scientists, geniuses, inventors, entrepreneurs that, you know, make America great, basically, um, to help those and just facilitate them with the skills that I've been blessed with. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but look, check this out. Okay. So out of all the people that you research, you know, that are successful, probably that came from nothing, who do you think is your most favorite person? Could uh, be a female or male, it don't so, matter. So uh, his name's Dan Pickering. Okay. And so, um, you know, for a while, respect him because I don't know, five, six years, I was like, hey, Dan, I want you to speak at this thing. And he would just look through me like I was invisible. Oh. You know, whoop de whoop, fair enough. Hey, he's a billionaire, he can do that. So, um, I mean, not he can do that, but you know, he's actually a very pleasant gentleman, but it was just like, you know, I was being basically annoying, you know, the, you know, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So I was, I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna admit it. So anyways, finally, I think I had secured the Federal Reserve as a venue. Um, and uh, Jesse Thompson from the Federal Reserve to speak. And I called him, I think it was like, you know, holidays or whatever. He's like, hmm, this guy. And he just said, yes. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. You know, a, a gentleman that I, like he's a, a, an engineer that turned into an investment banker. It's like, wow, you know, a gentleman that I, you know, would like to emulate, very humble guy, mm. very innovative. He's, you know, grassroots as well, hanging out with startup startups, entrepreneurs, educating them, mentoring them. And so he spoke at my event. He's like, I've never been to the Federal Reserve before. And I'm like, oh my God, there's something that this billionaire has not done. And uh, at our last meeting, he took a selfie with me and it was like, hey Mark, let's take a selfie, you know? Yeah. So, you know, his authenticity and just like him being who he is right. came out, which of course I saw, which is why I wanted him to be one of the moderators um, at, at one of the panels that I host. So, That's dope. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, so you're, you're around a lot of successful people. Cause you, 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 you introduced me to a few. Yeah, one or two, um, one or yeah. two, one or two. Um, yeah, man, that's cool, man. It's always good to have somebody in here that's different than everyone else. You know, actually, everybody has their own personality, and that's what I respect about people. You know, I, I don't just want to make this uh, podcast about, you know, somebody that's big-time people mm. or, you know, uh, uh, you know, actors and rappers and all kinds of stuff. I actually want, you know, I like everybody's individual story because it don't matter who you are out here in the world, I'm sure you got a great story behind you, you know what I mean? Well, so every, that's what I want to capture with Everyone this, is know? an individual. Yeah. And the thing about it is, it's like, you know, one of my favorite films is The Matrix. Don't be Mr. Smith, you know, mm. don't be like everybody else. Right. You know, just because you're trying to fit in. Right. Be yourself. You're unique. Your iris, your pupils is unique. Your fingerprints are unique. Mm. You're a unique person. Like, yeah. And sometimes, you know, we are afraid to express ourselves because, you know, you get judged, you get exactly. laughed at, you get bullied, you get picked on, et cetera, et cetera. None of that stuff is real. Yeah. The only thing that's real is you. Yeah. Yeah, especially coming from a different part of the world, you, you actually seen a lot of different backgrounds and, you know, it's crazy out here, different neighborhoods, different things, different uh, cultures, different slang. Uh, it's just different everywhere. Uh, one one magical place I do like is, is San Diego because there's just so many different people and everybody just accepts everyone for who you are, you know? Yeah, I went to a conference out there. Um, actually, my cousin is a, uh, is a bi, he's a nano, nano technology professor at the University of San Jose, I believe. Um, and I was at a conference there and I bumped into him randomly. Like, so uh, I haven't experienced it like you have. I've been there, you know, a couple of times for business, but you always tell me about it. I'm definitely gonna, gonna make one of those trips out there to San Diego. You need to check it out, man. I've been all over the country, man. That place, 
like it's just so different. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody is just like kind and uh, uh, inviting. You know what I mean? And you can feel the energy. Yeah, yeah you can definitely, definitely feel it. You different. can feel it. Yeah, you, you know? can feel it. You can feel it. Way different in L.A. and Hollywood and all that stuff. I mean, yeah, you know, it is what it it's is. It's different. It's different. It's a magical yeah. place. But uh, um, it's dope, man. So, um, so I hear you're starting up your own podcast or what? I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, people have wanted me to do it for a while. This guy has a lot of influence, and so... You know, if it's not Mo Hustle, it's a slow hustle. So, I mean, you know, I don't like money. Money likes me. So it is what it is. I think it would be great, man. Bring all them guys in the oil field, all exactly, the financing yeah. people yep, you talk yep, to. Yep, yep. Uh, all of them great people that you talk to. That, man, man, I think that mm. that's really probably your calling because you're, you're just a, you know, a different type of person, bro. Like, you know, you got a lot of personality. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. A lot of people out here are real dull, so they don't really have a personality. But you, it just comes natural, you know what no I mean? No comment. It comes natural, bro. It does, yeah. It comes natural, bro. Yeah, yeah, no comment. Like, man. I'm talking about in the, I'll tell him, I bet you can't do this, and he just, whoop, like that, roof. Bam, I'm like, whoa. I mean, hey. Faster than anybody I've seen. I mean, hey, look, I'm around you, bro. I got, you know, you you just, you make things happen just like that, too. I've seen you, I've seen you work. You, you know, you're humble with it, but you, you're a, you know, master alchemist yourself, sir. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, man. So, uh, what's next? Okay, so next uh, we have so Sierra Week is coming up. Uh, we also have a uh, mergers and acquisitions and A and D function coming up on April fifteenth, and then we're going to be doing some art events, some cigar things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So just you know. I would honestly say you should not follow me or Google me at all so you cannot find out about any of these things that are going on. <laughs> at Mark Hamzap. <laughs> at Mark Hamzap. At Mark Hamzap. Do Spell not, it out for them so they, so, so, so they won't go find you. Do not. If you Google me, I will know about it. Do not do that. At M-A-R-K-H-A-M-Z or Z. A T and that's at Mark Hamzat. One word, no underscore, no period with a T. <laughs> You're crazy, man. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, man. Well, um, is there any shout outs you wanna? Uh, give first out? of all, let's shout out Mo Hustle up in the spot. Like this guy is a super genius, very humble. Like he be putting people on, just like he's like Scotty Pippen. He's like, here you go. Be great. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's the only shout-out I want to give. Shout-out to everyone else, all the love, all the partners, et cetera, et cetera, everyone else that's blah, blah, blah. But I want to just make this one about the, the super genius sitting next to me over here, Mr. Mo Hustle. Peace and love. I appreciate that, man. Uh, for y'all y'all that just tuned in, make sure to follow me on Instagram, at the real Mo Hustle. That's the real, T-H-E, real, M-O Hustle. And uh, you can find me on Facebook at uh, M-O space hustle. And that's it, man. We out. Subscribe to the channel. The hot seat. <laughs>